Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to cleaner, greener, beauty, skincare, and more. I try it out for you so you know what to buy, more importantly, what not to buy. Today I'm back to tell you the 17 products that I would buy at Pharmica.com. If you're not familiar with Pharmica, it's one of my favorite resources. They are not paying me to say any of this. I'm just sharing it with you also because they have a 25% off sale going on right now. And some of the products are actually 40% off. One in particular that I was like, what? It's a foundation and it's one of my favorites. We love the deal. So without further ado, I will share my 17 picks that I think are worth investing in on that site. Stick around, let's get into it. Quick heads up, if you wanna know what I'm wearing makeup wise, then click the link below. I post these things on Instagram now, finally figured out how to give you guys this information, why it took four years, I don't know. I don't know. All right, like I said, nobody's paying me to say any of this. If you enjoy honest reviews and videos like this, make sure you like and subscribe. I'll just kind of dive into it. Some of the products are going to be a part of this current promotion, which goes until the 24th. Some of them are not, the Jane Iredell products aren't on the promotion, but one of them, which I will mention, is under $20. It's a very good price point. And then the other one you can just look into. So some of this is buy it on sale right now, don't wait. And the other part of this is these are just some of my favorites on that website. Bye. Um, I also already purchased from them, so I have a box in front of me. Uh, I think this was the 20% off. I will also have links to my honest reviews of these items, if they're around, if I've done full reviews and videos, below, so you can check it out even further and dig in. It starts with one of my all-time favorites. Uh, it's the RMS on cover-up. You guys knew I was gonna talk about it probably at this point, but if you're not familiar with the RMS on cover-up, it's a concealer. I use it all over the face. It's one of the best spot treatment items that I have. It's in the Brit fix guide it just works for my skin there is coconut oil if you can't do coconut oil stick around I might have another option for you but RMS on cover up number one the next is the Inika eyeliner I'm obsessed with this eyeliner no I'm not that's a lie this is a really good saturated black liner that doesn't slide off my face midway through the day I find myself reaching for it eyeliners are very hard to distinguish between sometimes unless they're really really dry or they're really really creamy uh, most of them are kind of right in the middle for me I don't have particularly oily skin or dry skin so I find this eyeliner to be a really nice payoff a really solid black eyeliner if you're looking for one I think they have other shades available and I just use it all the time next up the juice beauty flawless serum foundation okay this this is a serious discount. I just, I'm, it's just, it's a lot. It is only $26.40 on their website right now. This is a $44 foundation, so yeah. Take a look at the review and make sure you think it's something for you. It's very different. It's very lightweight. It's like a, um, a liquidy foundation, but it's one of my favorites. It gives very good coverage, very good coverage. And the fact that it's 26 bucks right now is like blowing my mind. Also from Juice Beauty, you're gonna hear me mention them a bunch because I'm a fan. Juice Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. I have their tinted SPF in the shade Sand. There's not a huge range of shades available, but I think there is just a transparent option. It's very creamy and luxurious. I do have a full review on this one. It's a different kind of texture. There is a tiny bit of a white cast for me when I first put it on. I think that has to do a little bit with the tint. I wouldn't worry about it, but if you're like strongly averse to that in any way shape or form I have another option for you that I will share in a minute but anyway if you're not worried about that this is just a beautiful creamy without feeling heavy and greasy tinted SPF that will really moisturize dry skin it's a great moisturizing SPF some of them just don't really feel like they're getting in there. This one I feel like, oof, my skin feels good when I apply it. RMS Swift Eyeshadows. I happen to really like their eyeshadows. They do last for a long time on my lids. Enchanted Moonlight shade. I'll list a couple of the shades that I like below. I just really, they're the one and done shades that I can apply and they work. I don't know, I've tried just separate solo shadows from other people. I like a bunch of them. I'm sure I have reviews on this channel about them, but I really do like the RMS shadows and I keep kind of adding to my collection. I do wish that I could just get the 
refills and then put it in a larger thing for eco-friendliness, but we'll get there one day. Next is a skincare item. It is from Juice Beauty again. It is the Stem Cellular Serum. It's the anti-aging booster. You guys know I don't like saying the term anti-aging, so it's pro-aging well booster serum. I love it. My mom, by the way, she did not believe that any of the products that I was trying were going to give her enough of an impact as say a commercial product with a lot more mm, stuff it stuff in it. So I had her test a bunch of stuff and she liked most of it, but I gave her this and she just gave me this like, mm, okay, that's cute. Like it's not gonna do anything. <laughs> You're funny. But she tried it, she freaking loves it and I love it, but she is a tough critic when it comes to this stuff. The Stem Cellular Booster Serum is just a really nice lightweight option that you can use as a part of your routine and your regimen. If you know me and you're a subscriber, thank you. You know that I believe in a holistic approach to skincare. I really, truly do. I also like Ayurvedic DIY skincare. I just, I do the integrative approach. I like a little bit from each. I just cherry pick what works. And this is one of the items that really does work for me and I've seen results from it. I have a really fast kind of dated review on this that's got a stupid amount of um, views in like a good way, thank you so much. But yeah, it was like all of a sudden it flew in the ranks on the algorithm. It's there, I need to redo it. I just need to do a 30 day test so you can see the before and after. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. The next, you knew it was coming, My Shell Sun Shield. It's good. And I'm not the only one that says that, by the way. There's a lot of different YouTubers that really like it. Um, I did happen to buy, I have the tinted version, which I use all the time. I use it, and this might be helpful, I use it when my skin's freaking out, which it did based off of a skincare reaction a couple months ago. It's now doing much, much, much better, but I would use the tinted SPF version of this every day and it did not irritate my skin. And again, skincare, very personal, very personal. So don't just buy it because you think it won't irritate your skin. Look at the ingredients, but I really am also saying that because it's just lightweight. It doesn't feel like it's heavy. It doesn't feel like it's greasy. I don't have to put a lot on. So there's a lot of different factors to that. I was really happy about it. So the MyShell Sun Shield Liquid SPF, I, Wow, that's really blown out. Got this actually in the clear formula recently because I just wanted to have something without a tint. I feel like I'm very into the tinted things, but this lets me play a little bit. Also, I have a lot of foundations that I have not been using because the skin's been happy and I don't want them to go to waste. And I use this as a mixer product. So I love using this as a mixer product. Gives you SPF 50. It is like the biggest no brainer and has been for a couple of years. And I've just been blah, 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 blah. About liquid liner. One of the best liquid liners I found, and I am trying a couple more. I stopped trying them because this one was so good to be honest with you. But it's the Zuzu Lux liquid liner. You can get it in a ton of different colors. I have it in black, I have it in brown. Um, I think I bought it in another color, but there was a box that went missing when I moved across the country. Oh, shocker, all of my makeup that I was gonna give, ugh, it had a bunch of makeup in it, so that's another story, life goes on, but I think the colors were in there. They're available, this stuff, works, it works, it lasts. It's, I just, I haven't found anything that beats it and for the price, it's kind of, again, another no brainer for me. Oh, this is such a good one, the Anika BB Cream. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. It smells a little funky, but it dissipates. But yes, I still love it, I still love it. Four years later, I'm still reaching for it. One of my favorite things to do actually is take the Anika BB Cream because there's no SPF in it, or maybe there's a little bit, not enough for me. I will apply that with the sun Shield. Also, I happen to love, by the way, that they have an expiration date on this bottle. Very helpful so I don't have to put a sticky on it. I love that combination so I get my SPF. Both of them are incredibly lightweight and yet provide this beautiful natural looking coverage that evens things out. It's just good. I feel like, I feel very safe and comfortable recommending that to my friends who ask me these you know, quick beauty questions. There are some things that I go, mm, I think that might work for you. Usually I'll say this is, it's almost universal. I know some people don't like it, but it's usually a safe bet. The next is from Juice Beauty and it surprised me and it is their pot concealer. And it surprised me because I felt the denseness of the product and I thought, no way. I say this in the full review, which you can check out, link below to that. But when I applied it, it boosted the brightness and it also applied evenly and it didn't give texture. Usually those thicker feeling concealers can kind of just 
not do what I want them to do under my eye. This is a great concealer and the ingredients were great. It's just a wonderful option that isn't as emollient. It isn't the kind of concealer that's gonna look shiny, which I know some people don't want, especially if you're oily. And I don't like that either, to be honest with you. I don't, I can't stand when concealer and everything gets too shiny middle of the day. It makes me look tired. This is not going to do that hopefully for you. It didn't for me and hopefully you have the same experience if you decide to invest. Jane Iredale Lash Conditioner and Extender and whatever, it's the primer basically, it's the lash primer. I don't use lash primers often, but for those of you that want lengthening, that have short lashes, that have just sparse lashes and you need a little boost, I've really enjoyed this lash primer. I haven't found a ton of them in the greener, cleaner, whatever space. It's a nice thing to have and it not only adds volume, but it does condition the lash, which is a nice bonus. Again, a product I don't use that much anymore. You never know. I kind of ebb and flow on it and I'm getting back into product updates. So I'm not just constantly bringing in steady streams of newness um, because I still have these products and I want to keep looking at them and seeing whether I like them six months later or something. One of those products just happens to be the 100% Pure Luminous Primer. There is also a matte version. So if you're looking for oil control and you like the list of ingredients, I didn't mind it. I have a review for it. Then it's a really wonderful option. The Luminous Primer isn't going to be like a big high volume lit from within like you would get from say a highlighter. If you want that, you could mix the Luminous Primer a little bit of highlighter. Give yourself a glow before you put on any additional complexion coverage. It's just kind of fun to mix products. That's why <laughs> basically the bottom line is I mix everything that I own. It does kind of smooth things out. It's not the heavy duty shellac kind of primer in my opinion, but it's a nice natural light primer and I enjoy it and I feel like it makes the makeup last a little bit longer. I like how it feels. I like how lightweight it is and it controls shine a little bit too. The matte one certainly did. <sighs> the next one and actually the the next two I have to repurchase because I've I've just, you know, I've gone through them. This is the Jane Iredale Magic Mitt. Oof. This is how I take off my makeup nowadays, especially because my skin was reactive. The mitt takes off makeup. There's a lot of different mitts out there. I get it. I have not, certainly not tried them all, but I've tried a couple and this one just works for me. I take off my makeup every night. I rinse it with warm water and soap and then I throw it in the washer once a week or so. It seems to do the trick and it lasts for a nice amount of time. I have bought these as gifts, by the way, for pretty much everyone that I know, so. And then after that, I have the Jane Iredale Liquid Minerals Foundation, the one that I panned at first and yet have been using nonstop, or I was using it quite a bit. Specifically when I was on my road trip, I just needed quick coverage. I don't know why, I just kind of gravitated. It's almost like a foundation gel. You think it's not gonna do anything and then it does something. And you're like, how did it do that? How do those little bubbles do that? It just does cool stuff. I really like it. It's not heavy, it's very lightweight. What else can I say about it? Look at the review. I have two of them. Look at the update. Three left. Okay, so. We have the RMS lipsticks. I've gotten them in Rebound. I've gotten the lipstick in Jezebel, which is one of my favorites. Uh, and I think, yes. Uh, I have the Wild With Desire lipstick in Jezebel, like I just said. This is the one I really just, I needed. I actually went through a lipstick, which is kind of crazy. It kind of smells weird though. Like it shouldn't smell like that. Mm, let's see another one. I got the color Vogue Rose as well. Let's see if that smells weird. No, that one smells fine. Oh God, it's beautiful. Look at that. It's like everyday pinky rose. So pretty. I have to put it on. I have to put it on. I'm gonna try this because the other one stinks. I gotta call Pharmaca and be like, hey. I have the Ilia on underneath, but it's so pretty. Not necessarily what you would gravitate towards for winter, and yet I do things like this. Like when it's cold out, I love ice cream. I start to crave ice cream, and I don't really know why that is. In Ayurveda, it's probably because I'm a Pitta? I don't know. That's actually a very pinky pink. I kind of love it. It almost makes me look like I have frosted lipstick on, though, in the camera. Let's do a combo. Let's see what happens when I put Jezebel, the stinky Jezebel. Mmm, ooh, so much lipstick. It is a creamier lipstick, so I feel like I'm wearing lipstick right now, like I can definitely feel it. But their lipsticks are really solid and good. I like the colors, the colors get me. I like a lot of different types of lipsticks. I've found really great winners and I have plenty of reviews on those. Ah yes, the Air Perez Eyeliner in Earth. I 
reach for it all the time. It's this combination of soft but not too creamy. It doesn't pull when you apply it. It's a softer, more subtle line than a black shade. But you can certainly just use shadow to give yourself that same kind of effect. But I love these. They're quick and they're easy and I'm obsessed with the earth shade. I might try a new one. I feel like I might wanna go with a fun color. Should I go blue? Should I go blue in honor of my cat? Tell me in the comments. And the last call out I have here is for the RMS Luminizing Powders. I like the highlighter in Midnight Hour. It's nice. It looks very subtle. It looks very natural but you can build it up to make it look, whoa. But then there's the Madeira Bronzer color, and it's one of my all-time favorite bronzes. It does have shimmer, so if you're avoiding shimmer, walk away. If not, then it's such a good payoff for a bronzer. I love, love, love it. It just brings you to life. You don't need a lot. It also is a really nice um, shadow if you wanna use it as a multitasker, which I do all the time. And that's really it for my top picks. These are the top, I had to edit. I had I had like 30, but I wanted to edit it down because I didn't want this video to be forever long. Uh, now I'm just gonna go through what I've purchased. I told you I'm gonna get the Magic Mitt. And then, oh, I got the RMS Beauty Eye Polish. I tried this a long time ago when I was just getting started with all this stuff. And I didn't really understand how to use like about 90% of it. So I've been learning, but I've used and loved the Jillian Dempsey Eye Polish or Eye um, Cream, Cream Shadow. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but the Jillian Dempsey product. And I saw this and this is the bronze eye polish. I really am hoping that this is going to be something that I can use and apply quickly throughout the day. I, I like a little bronze to add dimension, not have to think about it. It's one of my kind of quick and easy. I also love this with just the straight up Jezebel um, lip color and a bronzer. It's easy, little mascara on top of that. I'm good to go, I don't even need to think. I do think, most of the time, some of the time. Got my vitamins. That's the other thing. And Pharmaca, you can get your vitamins. You can stock up on oils, essential oils, if you're doing what I'm doing with Ayurveda. So the Stem Cellular CC Cream from Juice Beauty. Now I've reviewed this and I didn't review it positively, uh, but that was a long time ago and I was going to re-review it anyway. I wanted to give it another shot. So I got this in Desert Glow. The last time I had a lighter shade. This is, oh God, this is a really nice applicator too. It's really lovely. Love stuff like that. Oop, there you go. Let's see how this. This is gonna go, oh wow, that's actually a really, whoa, very good match. You know, this smells a lot like the tinted SPF, which is, which I really like, it's very refreshing. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. And then I have to ask them about the fragrance in here, Parfum fragrance, you guys know, I'm not a fan of not disclosing. Just be transparent, just be transparent. People are really obsessed with Walita, 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 skin food. They're obsessed with it. And so I had to try it and you can get a little baby signs. So I got a little baby signs. Hello. There's more. But wait, there's more. This is from Anika. There's a lot on there. You know, the loose bronzer I haven't tried. Their baked bronzer I've tried. I actually really liked it. Ooh, I might have to take off the RMS. I love a good lipstick. It's gonna ruin my face towel, but whatever. So this is the Anika Mulberry. The shade is Mulberry, if you haven't figured it out. The Certified Organic Lip Tint. Um, ooh, very into a dusty rose at the moment, guys. Going through or back into a dusty rose. Hello, can you focus, please? Going back into a dusty rose phase, it looks like it's gonna have shimmer, and I think it will. Usually I don't go for that, but let's see. I love how this smells. It, it looks like my lips. Oh my God, it's a combination of sort of a soft mint and vanilla. Ugh. Definitely smells like my youth. But what, what food is it? You know what it reminds you? olfactory sense memories. Oh my God, it smells really good. I mean, I might eat it. This kind of got me to where the Jezebel and the rose color got me from the RMS, except a little deeper, a little more mauve. And there is a bit of a sheen, but it's not shimmery. I actually really like it. The most notable thing is that the mint, it's very subtle, but it feels like it's refreshing and plumping a little bit. Oh, I like thinking, thinking. It's very nice. That could be a fun one. Oh, I really like it. Oh, 
Ooh. But hopefully this gave you a shopping starting point. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you right back here with some more reviews and roundups and all the rest of it real soon. Until then, bye. Greener, conscious, there's so many unregulated terms. It boggles the mind. New headband. Who dis? Knit me. The code is get ready. Look, I can type and talk. Mm.